Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in discrete mathematics that is truth table. What is a truth table? And in this session, we'll see the truth tables for connectives. So in our previous sessions, we have seen what is a connective, right? So we have seen a statement called as a proposition and the proposition of two different categories. One is an atomic proposition and compound proposition. So if you combine multiple atomic propositions that forms a compound proposition, in order to combine all these atomic propositions, we require some connectives that we have seen in our previous session, right? Like conjunction, disjunction, implies, biconditional, NAND, NOR, exclusive, disjunction. So all these are the connectives which forms the compound proposition. Now, we'll see the truth tables. So what is this truth table? So we said that every proposition will be having some result which we call it as a truth value. Truth value is a result of proposition, right? So this can be either true or false. So if you are having a multiple proposition, obviously the compound proposition means a combination of multiple simple propositions. For example, so P is one proposition and Q is another proposition. So if you are using some conjunction, right? So P and Q. So this is a compound proposition, compound proposition. So what will be the result of this compound proposition? So if it is a P, then obviously the truth value will be either true or false. This is a truth value. So similarly, Q. Q is a one more proposition. So for one more proposition, so the truth value will be either true or false. So for any simple or atomic propositions, the truth value will be either true or false. That's it. So if it is a compound proposition, if it is a compound proposition, what is the truth value? What is the truth value? So there will be a multiple combinations. We have to check multiple combinations. So how many combinations will be there? Right? So for this truth value, we'll be having multiple combinations. So how many combinations? So the number of propositions. So the combinations will be 2 power n, 2 power n, where n is number of propositions in compound proposition. Proposition, right? So for example, for example, let us take this one, P and Q. So this is a compound proposition. So how many propositions are there? So here we can write it as a simple and atomic propositions. The number of simple and atomic propositions. How many simple propositions? Two. So the combinations will be 2 power 2. That means four combinations will be there. For example, if it is like P implies Q and R. So this formula or this compound proposition will be having three simple propositions, right? So this compound proposition forms with a three simple propositions. So that's why the number of combinations will be 2 power 3, which becomes 8. So we have to find out the truth value for all these combinations. So for example, the truth value of this one will be 4. We need to find a 4 truth values. Similarly, for this we need to find 8 truth values. So, getting up of all the truth values or finding the truth value for all the combinations is called as a truth table. Okay, getting of result for, for all the combinations, for all the combinations is called as a truth table. Right? So, that will be in the form of truth table, okay, table, right, one table, right. So, in this session, we'll see what is a truth table. We need to find all the combinations and parallelly, we have to check the final result, the truth value for all the combinations. Now, in this session, we will see 
the truth tables for all the connectives. In our next session, we will see a few more examples of a truth table, right? So we will consider some compound uh, proposition and we will take uh, an example, right? So we'll take some uh, two combinations and three combinations also in our next session. Now we'll see the connectives, two tables for connectives. So connectives are, we know that conjunction. See, I, I'll, I'll directly write here. So let us take P, Q are the two options, okay, two propositions. So the combinations will be true, 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 false, false, true, false, false, right? These are the combinations. Now, coming to the first corrective, which is a conjunction. Conjunction. What is a conjunction? So, in our previous session, we have seen the complete explanation of all the correctives, right? Conjunction means if both the results are true, then only the result will be true. Or if the truth value of both the propositions, any one truth value of both the proposition is false, the result will be false. So here, the truth value of P, Q, true and true, obviously it will be true. And truth value of P, Q, true and false. So the truth value of one proposition is false, obviously then it will be false. Here also false, true, false, false and false, false. So, if any one of the proposition truth value is false, the result will be false. Next, disjunction. Disjunction. So, disjunction means quite opposite to the conjunction, right? So, disjunction means if any one of, one of the truth value, if the truth value of any one proposition is true, then it will be true, right? So, quite opposite to our conjunction. So, true and true. True, true and false. So we are considering only these two, right? True and false. One is true. So obviously the result will be true. Here also false and true. So one is true. True. Here you can see both are false. Obviously the last one will be false because for becoming true, any one of the proposition truth value should be true. So by here but both are having a false. So it will be false. Next, implies implies. So implies means if P then Q. We have said that if P then Q. So if P is true then Q should be true. Okay. So here if P is true Q should be true. Yes. True. If P is true Q should be true. But here Q is false. So obviously it will be false. And if P is false Q is true. So this we have not discussed right. So if P is true we are saying if P is true, then only Q should be true. So we are not saying what, what, what should be the result if P is false. So obviously the remaining will be true. Okay. Only this case, if P is true, compulsory Q should be true. Okay. If P is true here in this case, if P is true, Q is false. So we are getting false here. Next one, biconditional biconditional or double implies biconditional or double implies so here if both the truth value of both the propositions are same then it will be true all right if the truth value of both the propositions are true uh, sorry are true uh, are same either true or false whatever it may be if, if the truth value of both the propositions are same so here true and true Obviously, we'll be getting true. And here, true and false, both are different. So, it will be false. Here, false and true. So, again, it's false. False and false, both are both are same. So, obviously, it will be true. Right? This is the biconditional or double implies. Next one. Exclusive disjunction. Exclusive disjunction. So, here, the quite opposite to the double implies quite opposite to the double implies. If any one, so if the truth value of both the propositions are different, then it will becomes true. If both the, the truth value of both the propositions are uh, same, it will be false. So here, T and T, both are same. So obviously it will be false. T 
three true and false both are different so it will be true here also both are different true both are same false right so this is the exclusive disjunction and nand nand so we know that nand means negation of end what is the n here this one the negation of end right negation of end so you can see if any one of the truth value is false then it will be true in if any one of the truth value of proposition is false then it will be true so true true obviously it will be false true false it will be true false true again it will be true false false again it will be true so that is just it's a negation of end negation of end and the last one which is nor which is a negation of or negation of or so this is all negation right so if any one of the proposition truth value is true then it will be false so true and true false true and false false true, false and true false false and false true so which is you can see p and q the negation of p and q is this one negation of p or q is this one so here i will write so this is a conjunction conjunction this is disjunction this is implies or conditional this is biconditional this is exclusive disjunction exclusive disjunction this is a nand this is not okay so these are all different connectives a simple compound propositions right so this compound proposition forms with the help of two simple propositions two simple propositions if it is a simple proposition so if it is only one proposition the truth value will be either true or false only two combinations but here we are finding the result of compound proposition so that that's why we need to find the truth value for all the combinations and this tabular form we call it as truth table right yes so this is a very simple concept and hope you all understood and enjoyed the session i'll stop here in our next session we'll take some compound propositions and let us see how can we construct the truth table so it is not the compound proposition is not restricted between only two simple propositions it can have three four or any else right so in such cases we need to find out the truth values for all the combinations so that we call it as a truth tables in our next session we'll see some examples for uh, truth tables right so let's stop here Ho hope you enjoyed the session and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much